Here, you come look. Come look at this. Oh, you got a 308? Yeah. <laughs> we got ammo for that. Call your wife and tell you. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> it won't f follow the censorship. <laughs> Hello? Hey, Blondie, guess what happened? What happened? I told you, make sure I had the 284 and you let me bring the 308. Nuh-uh. Yeah. You brought the wrong freaking rifle? Yes, I did. You can say You're it. You're kidding me. No, you can say it. How the heck did you do that? Well, I mean... So what happens whenever you rush me out of the house like that. Oh, bullshit. And you put me underneath all this pressure. You're going to go shoot with Eric Cortina. He's the greatest oh. in the world. And Shut your freaking mouth. Do not put this on me. Did, do you have the right bullets? Well, for the 284, I do. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> no, I opened up the case and I said, you got to be shitting me. <laughs> so what are you going to do? I'm going to shoot somebody else's ammo. <laughs> oh my god. Yes. Wow. I just wanted what to. A dumbass. <laughs> that fin pull, fence post right here, the square one that's leaning up towards the tree, you yeah, guys, right there. Corner post? That to that 10 inch plate right there is exactly 100 yards. Okay. Um, Take that green box right there. Yes, sir. And make sure that's zeroed. It's 308. Let's go get a tuner break. I, I may have one. I in have the truck. a tuner break in the truck. All right, let's put a tuner break on it. You want to talk about testing the tuner? Well, we just put a tuner <laughs> break on your deal. Oh, wow. Yeah, I guess you I feel like such an idiot right now. <laughs> it's all right. There's only a bunch of people watching. Yeah, this. yeah, no joke, so, right? So where is he at now? You know, that's that's what this episode is, right? Yeah, so Remington, where is he at now? How much has he learned? <laughs> Look at this I, guy. I've learned enough to not bring the right rifle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, man. Um, so now they're going to think we planned this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, Sponsored be... by the EC Tuner. <laughs> Break. I'm going to swap out. <laughs> right, they're like, oh, this was planned. Yeah. No, he's, he's honestly, he honestly did this. Oh, man, I cannot believe I did that. Oh, what an idiot. And you know what? I, I was out testing some of the 185 jugs. Because honestly, this barrel's been giving me issues throwing fits. But... <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's how it happened. Uh, like I said, I'm in the process of moving stuff, and I had this thing just sitting in the case right there by the door ready to go. Well, this is our 747 we've been working on. If you are not on the website, a member of my website, you probably don't know this, but this is the project we've been working on. This is a 7x47 Lapua. It's got a 26 inch barrel with a tuner brake. Uh, and we just did a, uh, you know, straight nut. We didn't put a taper on it because that barrel is 1.1. So anyway, uh, I guess I guess Remington gets to try it out first before anybody else. Oh, I'm shooting a seven by 47. I don't know, Jason. That's kind of Jason's baby right now. So let, we gotta let Jason uh, decide. No, let let him show us some love. You know. All right. So we went ahead and put a target up. 130 yards this is gonna be the real test because <laughs> uh, Remington's gonna take Jason's ammo and put it through his rifle and tune it with a tuner break because uh, he has no choice right Remington I could go home <laughs> <laughs> 22 hours uh, round, trip. round trip let's go you want to walk the target sir you want to walk to the target let's go so we can tell people Everything's clear here? Clear? Yes, sir. Clear? Okay, let's go walk to the target. Yeah, that, that sucker right there lined it out pretty fast, too. <laughs> Especially for shooting a load I, I had no control over. Yeah. Thank, Jason, thank you. So this was the first one. Yes. Got on paper, then you clicked over. And this was with a tuner at zero. For sake of saving time and ammo, uh, we went to three here. So that's zero. That's three, that's six, and then I told Jason, I said, I think we're there. Just go two more clicks, even two more, right there. Uh, so we're just gonna stop right there. This was six, this was eight, we're just gonna go to seven, call it a day. And this, this is shooting his ammo out of my rifle. Yeah. No yeah. no development. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 10 shots, nine, well, nine. Um, anyway. But, uh, 
we didn't plan this, okay? We didn't tell him leave his rifle. <laughs> Wait, don't, don't dog on me like that, Eric. I'm okay, trying to have no, fun today. Well, they're gonna <laughs> they're gonna think that we planned this whole thing just for the tuna break. Oh man, it's windy. It's real windy. It's bad. Look, look, throw that box up in the air. It's windy. Oh! <laughs> Today is not your day, man. No, no. <laughs> so what's the distance? 568 yards. What are we showing? Um, 4.26. Well, that's mils, ain't it? Yep, you got a calculator uh, on my phone. You can't change that to MOE? Not through here. Okay. Well, I can, but uh, like I will change my gun completely. Okay. Here, I got geoballistics. Geoballistics is easier. So 4.26, right? Yes, sir. How many MOA are in a mill? I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> uh, Come on. Come on. I don't have anything mill. One mill equals 3.438. 3.438? Uh-huh. So times that solution by 3.438. Four, it was 4.26? Times three point four three eight three four eight fourteen point two six fourteen point three fourteen and a quarter fourteen and a quarter fourteen, 14 and one and click quarter, yeah you get it. you got your all right fourteen and a quarter that seems awful high for all right well let's let's do geoballistics one seventy five G one point four seventy five ICAO one in ten twist MOA MOA uh, zero range, 130, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Save. Where is it? Right here. What was the speed? 26, uh, 60. 26, 60. Distance 468? 568. Yeah, 568. 568. 568. At target. 13 and a quarter. So we're one MOA difference between the two. Alright, so 13 and a quarter. But that's going off my gun shooting 50 feet. Yes. Forward. Okay, so 13 and a quarter. 13 and a quarter. Alright. Going for the ram? Going for the ram. Oh, what about windage? Let me uh let me do the windage. It's only one MOA, Remington. Say that again? It's only one MOA wind. Oh, okay. Because we have this tailwind, so. Yes, sir. One MOA. Uh, let me get on glass right quick. So right now I'm dialed up 13 and a quarter. Okay. And dialed to the left one MOA. All right. I'm gonna hold center mass on the ram. Nice impact. Impact. Hit high. I'm showing one MOA high. Okay. And one yeah, MOA, MOA to the right. So I'm gonna come over one more. Tell us how you did that. Well, I just used my reticle, my my sub tensions on the reticle, and accounted uh, adjusted accordingly. So, let's see what happens. So I came over one to the left. Let me look at my scope. One to the left, okay. And I came down one. I'm aiming center mass again. Oh. 
Too far to the right. The wind is switchy. Go to center again. Okay. We're going center mass again. Going with one more center mass. <laughs> nice shooting, Remington. All right, so you hit the ram, put two on top of each other. Yes, sir. Now we're going to move in to what is the 464. 464? Yes, sir. What's your come ups for that? Uh, right now I'm sitting at eight and a half based yeah. off of ballistics. App. Okay. Eight and a half base of uh, geo ballistics. You got your. Now we're letting you do your own thing. Yes, sir. Okay. Now that we got you on target. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's see. I guess probably you're gonna shoot the IPSC first. Uh, the sixty-six percent. Yes, sir. And then you're gonna move to the smaller targets. Yes, sir. All right. Well, good luck. We're gonna see what happens, huh? <laughs> yeah. No pressure. No. None whatsoever. <laughs> that wind is switching. Oh, impact! And you broke it. You hit left edge. Follow up. That was a big gust. Hit it again. Okay. Go just to the left of that and go to the smaller Ipsic. What you hold right now? Uh, that right there, I was holding to the left one one MOA. Okay. Oh, nice. Can we go to the surface. Yep. All right. Keep going left. Skim across the top of the plywood, and you come to an eight-inch plate. Wait for your condition. I'm trying. Miss left again. Uh, I was holding left one MOA. Okay. Then I came over to dead center. Wait, what, what do you mean one MOA and dead, dead center? I, I, I was holding dead center and then I went over left one All MOA. Right, stop, stop. Let's learn how to communicate. I, I don't know what you're telling me. Okay. Stop, look at me. All right, what, what happened? The I had my, my intersection. Dead center, and I came over one MOA. So you're holding left one MOA. Yes, sir. Okay. And in my second shot, I held dead on. So you held no, no, no wind. Yes, sir. And it still went left. Did it go left? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it was dying down. Oh, look! Now the wind's coming from the right. <laughs> it's it's a tailing it's a tailing wind, a tailwind. So yes. it's it's you gotta pay attention to that. So yeah, it went left the second time. Okay. So Hold follow right. through. Well, that's what I did. I went to the right, and it still went back to the left. I thought you went center. So, let's say this is my vertical post, right? I was, I was dead center, and I came to the left one MOA my first shot, so, and it went to the left. So, so I came back to left. the right one MOA, and it impacted the same. I thought you same. went center. Sir? All right, all right, you're, you're confusing me. Yeah, so, hey, your first hold was one MOA left. Yes. And then your second hold was? Dead center. center. Okay, okay that's, that's all you, you that's, say. That's how you say. I held one MOA left. That's yes. it. And then your the second, second shot, shot, I held center. Held center, yes. There. One MOA right, I'm assuming you held one MOA right. Okay, I, I understand what y'all okay. are asking for. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah, it just makes it easier to communicate, right? Yes, so sir. First shot was one MOA left, second shot was dead center, you still went left. Yes, okay? sir. All right. So re engage. Uh, right edge. Well, I, the, that was what it was when the wind was earlier, right? But uh, you gotta find some some down there that maybe tells you where where the wind's going. You know what I mean? Cause it's switching fast. I'm I'm trying to look right now. Hey Remington. Yes, sir. Real quick. Put the center. Go to the center of the target. That eight inch plate, center of the target. Yes, sir. Okay. How many MOA is that eight inch plate? Two. Two. 
right? Yes, sir. So your left, your original hold was one MOA left, and yes, you sir. still miss left, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so if it's two MOA, you can hold right edge, which is one MOA, and you're still safe, right? Because that's it's yes. the opposite of your original hold. Yes, sir. You, you, you get where I'm going with yes, this? Sir. Or you can be bold. You know that's a two MOA wide target and hold two MOAs right. Yes. I, I know exactly you what, what you're I'm saying. saying. Yes, sir. Bam. So you see how, how well that works? Yes. All right, what do you think? Uh, other than forgetting my gun, <laughs> I, I think that the last time I came down here, I, I've definitely learned a lot between the information that you gave me and the, the stuff that I'm learning from the fellas that I'm in contact with up there. Uh -huh. I, I've, I feel like I've grown a lot. Yeah, you, you look a lot more confident behind the rifle. Uh, you know what to do, you know? Yes, sir. Uh, Trying. Yeah, we just, you know, uh, those little tips gonna help you a little bit. Because uh, you were being a little, like I said, uh, typically people are too timid moving when they miss. Yeah, yeah and, and remember we told you, hey, if, if you're off, if the target's one MOA, the minimum you move is one MOA. Or that one was two MOA, so the minimum you should have moved earlier was two, two. MOA. And I would have I would have made you contact. Hit it. Yes. But you you were timid. Because one MOA seems like a lot, right? At 500. It, it but, does. But look at the wind. You know what I mean? The it, it, wind is pretty hellacious. Yes, sir. So either uh, impact or miss big, but don't miss by a little. <laughs> 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 that should be a t-shirt. <laughs> well, seriously, right? Because I, to me, at least to me, the, the worst feeling is when you barely miss, just because you weren't bold enough. Yes, I, I can see what you're saying. If I'm bold enough and I miss by a lot, at least I'm like, well, dumbass, and then just correct for it yes know? but it's when you're we're a little timid and then you just barely miss at least to me those are the ones that hurt the most but anyway well, good job man thank you sir so man we got you tuned up right away look at that you're man. You're, you're stacking shots at that's the best almost. that guns ever shot <laughs> really yes <laughs> that's the that's the best that guns ever shot i, I make good ammo kudos to you the tuner break <laughs> and then the, well um the trigger finger <laughs> yeah but i mean look look how well it tuned uh, yes and it I mean, was like that what seven shots what was i don't remember nine nine shots nine and shots. we had a sh now you're stacking shots at 570 yards crazy huh in in 20 plus mile an hour yes. winds <laughs> yes every bit of it wow good job man you uh you came a long way i'll well, tell you that well thank you it wasn't easy I, I you promise know, you that. I'm glad you're saying that because it's not, you know. Uh, and there's going to be a lot of work that needs to be put in, right? Well, I'm not going to lie. I, I remember one time coming in the house uh -huh. and telling Cheyenne, you know, it, it's almost getting to where it's not fun anymore. Yeah. And, of course, being the, the supportive woman that she is, quit being a quit being a baby <laughs> like, and, like, and figure it out, like, you know. Like David Goggins would say. Quit feeding your inner bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's what I was going to say, but you got the camera on me, you know? <laughs> but, but yeah, no, really. I, I went in there one time and I just sat down. She said, what's wrong? I said, it's getting to where it's not even fucking fun anymore. It's, uh, well, is it fun today? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. My, my rifle's shooting decent, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. <laughs> well, and see, this is the thing, right? This is the thing about shooting long range. Some days you're gonna feel like it's not worth it, and like right now you're like, this is freaking amazing, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm having fun, and I've only shot two shots. This to me, this is fun. Yes. Bringing other people, teaching. Uh, I really enjoy this, and of course, Jason. Uh, There's a lot of knowledge right here between of the two of you guys. Jason's got. Jason knowledge has fun. a field, you know, knowledge. Different uh, spectrums for sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean. Uh, it's it's fun and and it's it's been a lot of fun interacting with jason because just like that argument that you, well a discussion that you guys had how do you get more precise than tighter tolerance you're you're you can dial a quarter inch right what if you're in between that quarter inch how are you going to count aim in between my sub tensions my island not work well. okay what is a tenth compared to a quarter Size by a hundred thousandths plus. That's a hundred thousandths. You, you, you can't shoot better than a hundred thousandths. Then 
why does dialing affect it? And uh, it's fun, and, and it's not like it's not that I'm arguing. It's just like, all right, explain it to me. And uh, you know, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, but yeah, man, thank you for coming. No, thank you guys. You want to shoot the 747? I'm not scared. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. We'll stack some shots like Cortina, baby. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna come over one tent. No, how wide is the target? Measure uh, the target. Uh, three and a half, four. Well, now it's coming straight behind me, huh? Yeah, I see it blowing from the left, though. You went right. <laughs> you will hold the six tents left? Yes, sir. All right, I'm gonna start back on the 60%. We'll start on the little one. Okay. All right. Oh, all right. Where'd you hold? Okay, that was dead center. I'm coming over two tents. Only Three. two? Uh, that's, according to my impact, that's where it was. All right, center. You want me to keep going down the line? Yeah, go to the next one. Shoot it again. Impact. All right. I'm going again, back huh? to the right. Huh? I'm going back to the right. All right. You, oh, you, imp impact, but yeah, barely. Impact. All right. All out. We're, All right. We're, Good job. Five for five next time. So you see what we're talking about? Yes. I was holding four tents to the left. You were holding four tents? Yes, sir. All the way out? Um, the, the very last one, I held two. The, the smaller one, uh -huh. I held two because the, the wind stopped as far as what my direction was. Or Okay, where are you holding from? From the center of the target? From, from center of target, uh -huh. uh, the, la the smaller target, I went uh, two MOA, uh, sorry, two tents left. Okay. Well, you got it. Yeah, the, the other two I was doing four tenths. And then whenever I got to the smallest target, I felt my wind stop. So okay. I, I only held two. Okay. All right. Nailed it. The last one, you barely clipped it. I saw you it. Clipped it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters. Anything to add, Jason? A couple things. Um, your follow through. Right? So after you take that, after you pull the trigger, that round goes off immediately back on target like you're taking another shot. Okay? It's going to help um everything your, your precision your accuracy everything like that so you you want to be able to see that impact you want to be able to have follow-up uh, an immediate follow-up with your shot all right so try to keep your body position nice and stable still looking through the the glass and you can kind of work your bolt at the same time get that next shot ready to go and have all that data ready like oh that was 0.2 right i gotta adjust for that to the left yes. and and be able to take that second shot fairly rapidly okay okay so you gotta keep your follow through just don't come off the gun once you press the trigger get back on target make sure you're ready to take another shot see your your impact make an adjustment if you have to and then work the bolt and you can you can practice that in your living room or at your house porch whatever just lay down Squeeze the trigger, dry fire, work your bolt, close it, and keep your head glued to the stock the whole time. Never okay. lift your head. Stay looking through the scope the whole time. Sure will. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's how you can practice that. And just, you'll get to the point where you don't ever pick up your head. You just stay behind it and just cycle the bolt, cycle the bolt, stay down, cycle the bolt, make your adjustments, boom, boom, boom. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. The less movement you do, the better off you're going to be. Alrighty. Thank you for coming. No, thank you. Jason, it's good Very to meet you. Nice meeting you, man. Yes, sir. All right, man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it. Hopefully, we can do it again with the 284. Yeah. <laughs> He'll bring 308 ammo then. <laughs>
<laughs> Alrighty. We'll see ya. Thank you. Keep them centered. Bye bye. Tonight I'm feeling me. Gonna make an ugly scene. Tonight I'm feeling.